Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, Your Excellency. Uh, like Richard said, we organized a brainstorm evening in April. And when I say we, I mean Vasgoed Lab, which would be Real Estate Lab. What we did is we brought together 25 real estate CEOs and talked with them about what is going on in the Netherlands, in the Dutch real estate market, or what could we improve. So we invited them to swap ideas and say, let's suppose you would have been the minister. What would you have as a vision? Because people sometimes say, I need a plan. I think foreign investors are looking for a plan for the Dutch housing market, the Dutch office market. What should that be? So we said, well, we will meet Minister Block. So perhaps we can give him some of your ideas. And that is what I want to present. And it is, it is positive. It's good news. So here we go. So real, we is Vastgoed Lab. We always make this advertisement. This is a co-creation with people from the real estate market. The evening was April 17, and I have written a letter, which is down here, which I will hand over to the minister at the end. The letter will also be published later, so you can see it in more detail. But I only want to give you the highlights. Now, vision is in the Netherlands, uh, it's a, a much debated word. Some people say, actually, you don't need a vision, because you could also see it as an elephant that blocks your view. I don't mind whether people view it as this. We say, what is behind the elephant, so what do we need with vision? So we're going to look behind the elephant, and that's what we invited the people to do with us on April. So actually, what is the problem that we try to solve? The problem that has to do with the fact that I think, and many people think, that if you talk with people like Richard or Michael or Sasha, who are not Dutch, and talk with them about the Dutch real estate market, they say, actually, you're a small market, you have qualities, but it's not clear. You have not the appeal that you used to have, and some people who are very honest to me say, actually, the word is complacent, which I don't know whether everybody understands that, but it's not, a, it's not a positive thing. It's not a compliment. So complacent would be translated as zelf genoegzaam. So they say, yes, of course, you are very tolerant people, you speak four languages, you are entrepreneurial, but actually, everybody speaks four languages by now, so you have to come up with something better. What makes the Dutch real estate market so special? And that is what we try to find out in April, and that we want to hand over to the minister as some ideas. So in fact, why do we need this kind of uh, appeal? Well, because if you look at the rankings, we see that the Dutch housing market, or the Dutch real estate market, I should say, is losing some space. So this is the hotspot 25, and we are no longer in the top 10, and we're losing ground. And we think with some vision, we may also become more popular again, so that we need a very strong story to tell people outside the Netherlands why we are so special with the Dutch real estate market. Now, this is the low point of my presentation. So from this point onwards, I only come with ideas that can make it better. So here we go. The proof that we have, that we can have success, are some uh, pictures like this. So we have had a nuclear top, and everybody was talking about the Netherlands in a very positive way. That kind of atmosphere, energy, we also need for the Dutch real estate market. If you talk to people from abroad, what makes us so special? Of course, if Obama comes and the night watch, that's special. But what kind of magic can we make in the real estate market to have that appeal for investors? Now, this is a, it's a very hard to read picture, but it's good, because the only things you need to see are the little bulbs of light. This, in fact, is Europe by night. So if Europe is by night, everything is dark, and only a few spots light up. Here you go, and this is London. This is where Richard comes from. And, and this is Paris. And this must be Berlin. But the real big spot in the middle, that's us. But that's not Amsterdam, and it's not The Hague, and it's not Rotterdam, and it's not Helmond Automotive City, it's the total. So one of the things we could easily think of is maybe we have to think a little bit bigger and think of the whole area as a bulb, as a proposition. Because if people, like Marco said, from Asia are thinking of us, they don't think of a city, they think of an area. This is one of the key things we had this evening in April we thought of. In an hour from now, Menno Maas will explain this in more detail, but we said we could also also linked this a little bit more like a delta city. If we just link the qualities of the different areas in the Netherlands as one big proposition, that's much more powerful if you go to the Expo or to the MIPIM than only talk about Amsterdam, The Hague or Rotterdam. There's nothing wrong with Amsterdam, 
but for foreign investors, the bigger proposition is a lot more appealing. So we have to work together. This is positive. And in theory, we call this borrowed space. So there's a lot of literature that shows these successful metropolitan areas, they are so successful because they're not individual, they think of each other's qualities and combine them. That's what we try to do with a Delta city. What we also could do is maybe think of some projects that put us back on the map. So we have had architects and engineers and builders from the Netherlands that build marvelous buildings all around the world. So we're famous for our architects, but we're not doing anything very special at the moment in the Netherlands for the last 15 years, if you think of real estate. So if you have some landmark projects, like building a mountain, or building a, a little island in the shape of a tulip, I know it's not a very good business case, but you could also fuel some positive energy with that, and show, okay, we are now, for instance, Delta City, a big, strong area, and we also have some landmarks. We have done it in the past with, uh, actually, the Delta Works, we have been capable of doing great things, and perhaps we should think as a real estate industry of how to do that again to put us back on the map. And if you talk about maps, this actually is a map. In fact, it's a model. So it's hard to see, but if you look at it closely, you will recognize that this is the island state of Singapore. And one of our speakers of the night said, well, if we go to Singapore as an investor, we always meet this model, and this model tells us this is Singapore in 15, 20, and 25 years. So that means that investors know exactly what's going to happen next. So every proposition in Singapore, you invest your money, but you know what will happen next and around you. I think in the Netherlands, we could do with very good firm governance. One of the things we hear back from foreign investors is that we don't have one big policy organ, but we have a very decentralized policy. So a lot of decisions are made on a lower level and some people say, actually, it would be good to make a model of the Netherlands and show people this is what we are planning to do. Not as a city or a municipality, but as a bigger area. So that means that we are talking a little bit more concrete with one voice. So one clear voice, which is, I think, very useful on a very noisy exposition as the Provada or the Expo or the MIPIM. So instead of telling 10, 15 stories on different areas on an exposition, if you would have one person talking about the total market, for instance, Delta City, if you like. So I think a lot of foreign investors would have a lot more appeal for that than the current way of communicating. And we also discovered that it's not because the minister is among us, we heard very positive things that you did, in fact, this on the expo. People said, actually, we as the real estate market also should acknowledge that sometimes things go very well. So when you spoke over there, a lot of foreign investors came back and said, that was a very clear story, and it's apparently your leader. So perhaps we should do that more often and maybe bundle some of the resources and make one story more outspoken. And I'm going to round off because this is exactly Richard's seven minutes, I think. So the one last thing is that it's hard to recognize, but so for some people you might recognize this picture. So one of the last things that we discussed in April is that, okay, we need a bigger plan. So maybe we need to also to think bigger as not a city, but more as an area. And maybe we should also have one person be promoting this instead of doing 15 people, the promotion, which is very discarded. So if you want to become ambitious again as the Netherlands, as the real estate market, and have an appeal, we have a very clear story. One other thing that people admitted is actually when we're talking about it, they were very open, very vulnerable. They said, actually, the real estate market and society, we also should be a little bit more optimistic and positive. So this is a picture of the common linnets. So I guess everybody now knows them. And we are very fond of them as soon as they did well. But it's typically Dutch that if people come up with some new idea, we are always very negative and very critical. If you go to the UK or Germany, people are a lot more positive about new initiatives. In the Netherlands, we make it a sport of always talking about the negative things of new ideas. So what we should do is also have initial support. If we want to go out and seduce people to invest in the Netherlands, and we have one person doing that for us, it would be good to applaud for the idea, not just for the sake of it, but not only talk about the negative aspects. It's good to have a democracy. I'm very fond of that. But it's also good to be working together in a more optimistic way. So that means if we're going to go to the World Championships, I would say, yes, do buy your Roy Donders suit now 
not just in the, in the second, or the third, or the fourth round. No, we need to be more optimistic and pos positive from the start because you can achieve a lot more. And a lot of the people in the real estate industry realize that they have not always been so optimistic and positive as they should have been.